What is up, everybody? It's your first Steve here today, and we're going to talk about the Microsoft layoffs. If you haven't heard it by now, I don't know how you didn't hear it, because that's all social media has been talking about. More doom and gloom about Microsoft laying off some people. I'm going to try, I'm gonna try to be politically correct in this video, but I don't know. It's sure it's sad that people lose, lost their jobs, but that is the reality of working for somebody else any day now. Your boss gonna say, "Hey, we gonna let you go. You're fired, etc." That is the risk you take each and every day. You wake up to to punch in a clock for somebody else. It's like it is what it is. Ninety hundred people got let go. It's sad to see. I mean, these people are getting unemployment, so they can totally find another to find another uh, job. It is what it is. But people want to be like thoughts and prayers. We feel bad for these people. It's like, it's, yeah, sure to an extent, but I kind of don't care. Is the harsh reality, but I'm a consumer. It's like I don't know. Maybe it's just the gaming industry, but the gaming community they have this, this strange attachment to people who work on these games. The people, the head of these companies, these different like CEOs and etc. Like at the end of the day, you as a gamer, you're a consumer for a product. I don't care how the inner workings of the product is given to me. I don't care about the behind the scenes stuff really to an extent. Maybe sure, like sometimes the developer directs you like some insight on how the games are made. But other than that, I don't really care. I just want to have a good product. They make a good product, I buy it. As easy as that, as simple as that. Like you don't see people have these um, these crazy freakouts about um. I don't know, what's in any other industry that's out there. Like for movies, if a, if a, um a sci-fi if a uh, special effects person gets removed. You're not going to see people say, oh, thoughts and prayers, we're sad to see this guy be let go. We don't see that in the industry besides the video game industry. Like, once again, uh, people are blowing us up out of proportion. Some people are using this for console war nonsense. It's just so ridiculous. And people just say, hey, the writing's on the line for Xbox. Yeah, I've been saying the writing's on the line for Microsoft and Xbox for the longest, but they're still here. <laughs> so get used to it. I mean, I don't know. What actually, um, what actually kind of affected me more, which lay off, which lay off kind of annoyed me more, was the one with those people behind this Black Forest Games, who are making the new TMNT Last Ronin game. They laid off nearly fifty percent of their studio. Which if Microsoft lays off two thousand, they can recover. Who? It's like it's, it's, it's a headline. They laid off two thousand people, but at the end of the day, they can recover. Microsoft was a big company to make a lot of money. They recover, but this one is more devastating. They laid off fifty percent of their stuff at this Black Forest game. Black Forest Game Studio, and they're making a new TMNT game, which a lot of people are anticipating, my, myself included. So, I'm more concerned about this layoff than the Microsoft one, to be honest. And such as if you got Microsoft on your resume, <laughs> it's like I'm pretty sure you're gonna be hired at the next place you work at if you got Microsoft on your resume. So, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too sad about these people who got let go. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you got Microsoft as a as a, as a reference as, on your resume. You should be good to find another job. So, like it is what it is. I've been let go of jobs before. From before, I've been let laid off from jobs before, and I was like, "Hey, I didn't get this whole like sentiment. Like, we're sorry and all this other nonsense. I moved on, got another job, or well, now I work for myself." So, it was like it is what it is. So, uh, it's kind of. I'm trying to touch. I'm trying to walk on eggshells dealing with this topic because people want to be like really sentimental about these people, but at the end of the day, they're gonna move on, find another job. Life is going to move on. It's just going to be another week people got laid off. It is what it is. So, another thing that people are talking about, about this whole digital game is Microsoft might be going digital. And the people making the biggest outrage about this are people who play on PC. <laughs> like, they can make sense. PC gamers are outraged that Xbox might be going all digital. Where PC has been all digital for the last decade or two at this point. Like, who cares? Most retail stores, I know like Best Buy, Walmart, and what's the other one? Target. They got rid of Xbox physical games a while ago. So if they do go all digital, who freaking cares? But people are like, hey, this is so bad. Microsoft is so evil for going all digital. But it's like, that's the way they've been going. That's the trend the industry has been going for a while now. You shouldn't have seen the writing on the wall and they started moving the games from the stores. So the physical stores at this point so i don't see why this is a big deal especially when pc gamers are chiming in about this it just makes it even more hilarious and so fake 
Like you're gonna be like, hey, here comes a durably all digital future. You really, you really gonna make a comment like this where you price your next move is price your next thing is like, hey, what game am I gonna play on PC next? Like really? I just don't understand this 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 mentality, especially from PC gamers at that. Like really, we're acting like the all digital future is such a bad thing. Oh, I know somebody's gonna po- post that stupid quote that says. You're gonna own nothing and enjoy it or love it or something. Like, something to that extent, whatever that quote is, it's so stupid. Because obviously, if you own a digital game, you can you own it. Like I can press play on the digital game and play the game. So I obviously have some ownership over it. Like uh, it's just weird. <laughs> it's just really weird at this point. People are blowing this thing up out of proportion. Once again, when you see these people using this for concert or nonsense, Sam. Xbox fanboys, you all feel crazy stupid right now, aren't you? Made this whole crap over a PlayStation layoffs, and now look. Look at the first big exclusive from Activision Blizzard King deal canceled. Man, this week is gonna be good. So he's excited. He's rubbing his hands together over people losing their jobs. And apparently over an exclusive that wasn't even announced? That, who cares? There's an exclusive that nobody cares about. And he makes this like it's bigger than the whole Factions 2 be- being canceled. I think Factions 2 being canceled is a lot worse than this situation right here. But okay. Apparently an unannounced game that most people didn't even know about getting canceled is such a... It's, it's, it's devastating for Xbox fans. They were feeling crazy right now. Really? I don't care. I don't know what the game even was. I don't know what the game was even about. So I can't be too angry about a game I don't know what it was even about being canceled. That's, that sounds bonkers to me to be upset about a game I don't know about being canceled. It's like, okay, and? Um, and somebody asked this guy, this week is going to be good. How? He says, because these Xbox fanboys are about to learn a good lesson. A lesson in what? <laughs> Did people get let go? Like, if you were growing a dope, you've probably been laid off, or you probably know somebody who's been laid off from their job. It's like, what is the, you move on. What lesson is to be learned here? I don't know. Common sense alert. I hate seeing people lose their job. I want everyone feeding their families, but I saw this coming. I've been in corporate America for 12 years now. Job positions overlap when companies are bought out. And apparently people who have expertise about companies being bought out, they know that, hey, when some when a company merges, there's just going to be layoffs happening. So if that's just a common trend that happens when these merges, then I don't know if people are so shocked about this. Hell, I don't know if people are shocked about the whole digital Xbox in the future. Like, at the end of the day, PC is one of the largest marketplaces for gamers, and that's doing just fine being all digital. I don't know if people are freaking out about the whole Microsoft situation. They call it digital. Who cares? I'm playing most of my games digital anyway, so I don't care about this nonsense. Uh, so th- we have this guy saying Blizzard Survival Game has been canceled. A game, once again, most people didn't even know about or care about. Blizzard's president and Blizzard's chief design officer, one of Blizzard's co founders, are leaving the company after our Xbox announcement. It's all crumbling down, yes. <laughs> Xbox is crumbling down now, per quarter to this guy. Microsoft made over $20 billion of profit recently. They top Apple as the most viable company. F Microsoft, Xbox, F Media, who pushes no one at least to layoffs. F Phil the Axeman Spencer. F the CMA for Caven. Uh, what is this nonsense? F the Xbox, who are too poor to buy Call of Duty and beg for this. With zero regards for consequences, they were told what happened. Isn't Call of Duty still the most sold game? Like, what is he talking about? Like, uh, it, it's just weird. It's just like this dude is just has some vendetta against Xbox and just uses any opportunity he can to badmouth Xbox at this point. When it's like, once again, people get laid off. That's not the end of the day. <laughs> the company's going to move on. It, I don't understand how this is more concerning. This layoffs are more concerning than the, the lack of roadmap that Sony has. That's just interesting. You don't know what first party game Sony has coming. They canceled a big first party multiplayer game that people are looking out for. But that's but apparently these layoffs are more concerning than that. Okay. Then we have this guy saying, Thank you, Mr. Spencer. It's an honor to finally be a part of Xbox. Okay, as he's making mockery people being laid off. That's what I'm getting from this clip right here. <sighs> as this guy says, Indiana Jones is running from a Sony fanboy. Yeah. At the end of the day, like I said before, we are consumers. I know what games I've got coming. I'm going to consume on Xbox. And that's all I really care about at the end of the day. I don't care about these these uh, CEOs, these events or whatever. 
where the games at? <laughs> the games. It's, it's that simple. The video games, the exclusives, the third party games. That's all I care about as a consumer. There's other stuff I don't care about. There's behind the scenes stuff about the people being laid off and other nonsense. I don't care. I know people want to be like, hey, thoughts and prayers. We're losing sleep over you guys being laid off. Uh, I'm not going to do all that. I don't really care. Sure, you, want people, you don't want nobody to be suffering like that, but at the end of the day, I'm a consumer. I want to buy a good product. That's all, that's all the boils down to. So, those are essentially my thoughts about this whole situation. Um, but yeah, let's see what other people got to think about this, what people are saying about this right here. 2024 has been absolutely tragic for the industry so far. Already two major bulk layoffs. And those are just the two companies I can think of, Microsoft and this other one. But I heard it was like other studios, as well, other people as well in the gaming industry who, who laid off people as well too. So Apparently people are being laid off around uh, the gaming industry as a whole. So, uh, so this guy's saying, everything is fine, sarcastically. Really? <laughs> what should Xbox owners be worried about? Like we know what games we got coming out, so what should we really be worried about? Oh, you can't play games physical anymore. Oh, big whoop do freaking do. What are people saying about this? I don't really care about the layoff situation. What are people saying about this all digital nonsense right here? The day that any console goes all digital, I am out. Maybe by the system day one and just wait for a jailbreak on low from where Yes, apparently PC being all digital is completely fine, but if a console goes all digital, it's just the end of the world apparently. I'm out of touch with the console market these days. Is physical actually a sizable portion of the market anymore? It's not. Most people buy games digital. The days of the whole midnight launch and the days that you go to Walmart for release day and the employees don't even know what game you've been talking about is over. You can just buy the games digital if you really want it day one. So I don't know why people act like this is a big deal. I'm okay with it on PC because most everything is reserved on PC, not so on consoles. Okay, so <laughs> that's the wiggle room out of this whole situation. They can be like, game preservation on PC. But it's like, really, most of you don't care about that. Most of you don't care about game preservation. You're fine playing on PC. You're just not fine playing with it on console because the vast majority of people are not okay with it, really. Most people don't care about this. Um... Microsoft was doing a bang up job of eliminating the Xbox brand because they took away the physical media. They're about to take away physical media. And if you're a clown, if you think Sony is going to do the same thing, like, I don't know if people think the, the whole game industry isn't geared towards this direction anyway. You buy stuff all digital, but okay. Excuse me, you think that PlayStation's not going to do the same thing as well. Uh, okay, so here's a stupid quote right here You own nothing, you'll be happy. I guess. <laughs> they act like those preppers they act like the, those, those prepper guys that people are just going to come and just take your games away from you or something like that it's like if you own a digital I think you're going to be just fine if you have a digital library I think things are going to go it's just as normal but okay uh, I'm already a PC gamer but at least I can download games from the 7 C's there so he just wants the pirate stuff okay once again I don't see why people are upset about this whole digital thing, especially if you're a PC gamer. If you're a PC gamer, you definitely don't need to be the one vocalizing you're upset about this because that just doesn't make any sense at this point. Uh, and apparently at Target, yeah, Target is already having, they already had less digital stuff. They already just had less physical copies. So I don't know why people are so shocked about this. How long is this video? This is way too long, so I'm going to include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about, about both these subjects. Leave your comments down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And always thanks for watching, and peace.